So why do I have a a bowling setup in my room? Amanda, what is going on with your life? Let's play a movie night. Hello and welcome to Hulu New Play Short in your games today. I'm going to play another game by Jeremy Fisher. I played a few games by him and really enjoyed them, especially the last one. Uh, but he's currently, I guess, um, he's taken a very short break of his work. Yeah, the Lancaster League, that's the series, which is, it's super fun. Try it out. Uh, I will link to, to Jeremy's itch page, especially of this game, uh, in the video description, so you can check it out. But uh, but yeah, he, he's taken a break to collaborate with a writer and horror voice actor, Dill in the Dark. Never heard of him, but well, now we will see what you know is going on. And uh, Dill in the Dark has a wholesome horror series, which I think is so char charming and very interesting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. And... Yeah, movie night is basically uh, the result of this. It's narrative wholesome horror. And I think that's a really cool idea because a lot of horror tends to be overly cynical. And uh, I think, you know, uh, the older I got, the more I appreciate the happy ending. In the dark entertainment. Ooh, I hope this was recorded fully. This was a really cool intro. Whoa, that's loud. Okay, can I? <laughs> Please! Jesus. Alright. Damn, what a week. It's gonna feel so good to just relax and watch one of my old favorite movies. I can't start the show just yet. Gotta prepare a few things first. Oh yeah, voiceover. Of course. If it's written by someone who's the, who does voice work, that's so cool. Also, same. When I want to watch a movie, I need to have everything like snacks and drinks, you know, to be super cozy. So I totally get it. Start the microwave and place the popcorn on the tray. That's my... What? Why would I have this here? That's so dangerous. Okay, so my character is not the smartest. No door in the... Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of dark, okay? So, alright. Can't open this. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll find the kitchen. Oh, there's the kitchen. Alright. It looks, it doesn't look like it fits to me as a person. Also, yeah, the kitchen setup, that is so weird to have. This interior design is... I'd say that it's what you would call eccentric. Sorry, I have to move this so I don't clank with the mouse cable against it all the time. Okay, start the microwave. Start the popcorn. So I put it already in there. Okay. Grab the soda from the fridge. Is that... That's not the soda. Oh, there we go. Bop. Oh no! Ugh. Wait, where is it? Where's the soda? It vanished. That's not wholesome. Vanishing soda? That's not wholesome. It it it, it just you you saw it. You witnessed it. Okay, I think we have to restart the game. I'm sorry. I can't start the show just yet. Got to prepare a few things first. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Did it? Also, my running is wild. Look at this. Whoa! Usually it's barely noticeable when you run. But here, sheesh. I'd even say at home, that's too fast. <laughs> okay. So that's, that's us. What's that? Postcard, examine. Yeah, I... Oh, it's Q. Amanda, see you soon from Cole. Greetings from Florida. That's it? There's not even a picture. Cole, what the... That's the worst postcard I've ever seen. Also, this is a game jam game. Uh, so they spent... They had a week to do this. So whatever I'm complaining about... It's a, with a wink, you know. I don't really mean it actually critical, just the typical let's play a nonsense, you know, where you complain about, 
Oh my god. How? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this looks so... Okay. I can't have a movie night without popcorn. <sighs> or a blanket. I'll check the hallway closet. I don't know. I feel like next to the fire, it's probably too hot. You know how it is with bonfires, especially when it's outside camping. Like, your back is freezing and your face is scorching hot. I'm not, you know, bonfires are great in theory, and then in reality, it's always a lot of smoke gets in your eyes and not in the romantic uh, 50s song. Oh, wait, there's a. F <sighs> yeah. There's, is that a handprint? What could have left that? <sighs> nah, it's gotta be one of those damn teens again. Thinking they can ruin my movie night? <laughs> no way. I earned this. They're gonna have to try harder than that. Well, Amanda, how old are you? You you also sound like a teenager. But maybe you just have a young wo voice. That's that's possible. So popcorn, that's not my snack of choice. I'm more a, a chips type of girl, you know. Sometimes a cookie or cake or ice cream, but I'm more like the savory type. It's like, I like it salty. Just like I am. <laughs> ha! Okay, uh, get blankets. Oh, from the basement. Why would I put the blankets in the basement and not in the bedroom? Amanda, what's going on here? Get your life together. <laughs> Do we have this? Oh, yeah, apparently we had this before. Like, I don't get this set up. This is absurd. Oh, this is the basement? But still, you wouldn't. It's so precarious. <sighs> okay, my neighbor is. I don't know. I don't know what just happened, but it feels like it's in my room. That's the blanket. Looks like a blanket. No, it's not. Do I have a flashlight? It's so, so dark. Search closet. Oh. It's one of those things, you know, where the moment you sit down, the building of the the neighbor starts to build Rome. <laughs> Where's the closet? I don't know which closet. Is is this the? Oh, oh, that's right. The blankets are in the dryer. But that's not the basement. This is literally in the whatever this is living. It's it's the everything room. Okay, so in the dryer, is that it in the basement? I see the game jam uh, limitation of the week has resulted. Yeah, yeah, I. That's what I, I said. Amanda, just listen to me. Oh, okay, I saw that. It's creepy. Spin, you know, shit. How was the front door open? I thought I locked it. <laughs> I won't be able to relax until I know all openings are locked. I mean, maybe it's already... I saw it inside, so I don't think... You know, it's like... There's also a window. Isn't it? No? Okay. Um, I wish I had a flashlight. There's a window. Okay. That's the last <laughs> one, but... I didn't see any signs of someone breaking in. <sighs> what? You saw the door I open. Hate when the wind blows that door open. Gave me such a scare. <laughs> oh, oh, this is too much. I need to go sit down on the couch. I mean, I saw that he's gone. How oh. was that possible? Oh, you saw that? That small VHS that is not on the table, but you didn't see that huge spindly creature? Okay, where could it find the missing movie? Where could it be? I don't know. Also, why do I have a, a bowling setup in my room? Amanda, what is going on with your life? Okay, I hope it's not on the floor because this is too dark to see anything. Why can't I grab this? Hmm. Okay, so it's not here. Here's the 
is a good question. What's your comfort horror movie? Like one that you've watched way too many times and it doesn't have to be, you don't have to brag or anything. It doesn't have to be like the best, coolest movie ever because to be quite honest, my comfort horror movies are not necessarily the best horror movies I've ever watched or even my, f well, in a way they are my favorite movies. Um, for example, for quite a while I had Below uh, which is a submarine horror movie, and it's not even that scary, but I had it as my, my comfort. Oh! So yeah, I'd like to know, what's your comfort horror movie? Also, I love it when people have like a super disturbing... Whoa, okay. Whoop. That scared me. Oh no, don't do that. Or do you want to watch the movie with me? Oh my god, could it be? It's a wholesome horror story, so maybe we'll watch it Just together? Nightmare. Oh, thank god. Whoa! Hey! Calm down. Calm down. Don't freak out. Well... <laughs> ah, a human. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna talk. Alright. Please, don't mess with me like this. Just leave me alone. Don't worry. I won't be coming back. Aw. I won't be bothering you. Aww. Or anyone. Never again. Aw, it, it sounds so sad. Wait! You're really just going to leave? Just like that? Yeah. Normally I do all kinds of scary stuff. Tap on the windows, open doors, hide stuff. Make you question your sanity. But... I, I'm just going through some mental stuff right now, I guess. And, um... I just... I can't do this anymore. What?! I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired of being seen as a monster. Believe it or not, I've tried to be friendly. Tried being myself. Tried to show others that I'm not just a beast. But all anyone sees is a big scary creature that they scream at. So I became what people saw me as. Something to be feared. Something to be hated. Something that deserves to be alone. Aww. I didn't ask to be this way, you know. The people of this world have shown me that no matter what, I will always be seen as a monster. So maybe it's best if the world never sees me again. Sorry for throwing all this at you. You didn't ask. Trauma dumping much? <laughs> no one does. <laughs> no, no. I'll leave you be. No, you can stay. We'll have a movie night. No, no, no. You can stay. You can stay. Hey. Yeah. Want to stay? Watch a movie with me? Really? Yeah, I could use the company. Do you like romantic comedies? What? We're not even watching horror? I've never seen a movie before. But I do like romantic stories. Well, have a seat. Can I get you anything? Water? Cocoa? Cocoa would be lovely. Amanda, how old are you? You're like all oh, the teenagers, but you're like water and cocoa. That is it? Okay. Heat up the cocoa in the microwave. There you go. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We gotta talk about, you know, personal space if we want to continue this. Okay. This is so cute. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> all right. Okay, dear Mark, don't don't disappear. There you go. Uh, place it on the coffee table. There you go. Bop. Here, it's not the best, but it will warm you up. This is wonderful. <laughs> it's much better than what I normally drink. Oh, I drink a drink. And what's that? River water? Mm. Human blood. Yeah. Ah, oh. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> you should see the look on your face. 
<laughs> All right, you got me. Are you proud of yourself for that one? <laughs> I am. So what do I call you? Do you have a name? In my native language, I am called... <laughs> Checks out. Translated into human language is Steve. Harold. <laughs> Harold. <laughs> yeah. Harold? What's wrong with Harold? Nothing. You just don't look like a Harold. But it's a fine name for you. My name's Amanda. It's a pleasure to meet you, Amanda. Thank you for being so kind to me. You're welcome. Thanks for not killing me. <laughs> Don't mention it. So if you aren't going to scare people anymore, what will you do? I had a dream once. But it'll never happen. Not for something like me. Okay. Now you have to tell me about this dream. No, it's dumb. Hey, dreams aren't dumb, including yours. Tell me. Okay. But you can't laugh. I won't. I... I want to be a pizza delivery guy. What? You said you wouldn't laugh. I, I, I'm not laughing. I'm just very surprised at your dream. Why do you want to deliver pizza? I've stalked many neighborhoods throughout my life. Sometimes I see a pizza guy going up to the houses. And I see the faces of the people who open the doors. They always look so happy to see him. Just once, I'd like to know how it feels to have someone excited to see me. Well, Harold, I'll be excited to see you for our next movie night. Really? Yeah, this has been the most interesting movie night of my life. And we haven't even started the movie Just yet. Just wanted to say, you know. Thank you, Amanda. Anytime. Now let's just enjoy the show. It's the movie, Amanda. Please. <laughs> you want to sit down? Or do I have to stare at your butt the entire time? Personal space. I, you know, personal space. All right. This was really cute. <laughs> Very charming. I had a few thoughts, but I didn't want to interrupt the the dialogue. So what was it? Um, pizza delivery guy. I think that's actually a really nice. Like I think I would have laughed. It would have been like someone in sales or whatever. <laughs> because why would you wanna be? You know. Uh, but pizza delivery. I think I I get it. I mean nowadays it's probably a very shitty job that doesn't pay well. But ideally, it's something where you, you know, you have a routine, you get to meet people and you get to deliver something that's beloved by everyone on this earth and maybe possibly the universe. So I totally get it. Uh, also, yeah, considering your comfort movie, please tell me, you know, don't be scared. It can be the worst horror movie. It can be the best horror movie. It can be... Yeah, what I was interrupted by the, the dialogue, or rather, I interrupted the dialogue and then I stopped talking. Um, I love it when people have comfort movies that are just the most disturbing, horrifying horror movies ever. Like, if someone, because one of mine is actually Midsummer, and I think it's one of those movies where it's like, what? Wouldn't, I think most people would not really categorize it as comfort, but I don't know. I just, I like the visuals it's very it's a very beautiful movie and i like that it's kind of like a weird trip the entire movie is stylized in that way hereditary weirdly as well but hereditary is such a bummer and um, more than midsummer i mean midsummer also is not really happy go lucky but her hereditary is so so sad and so depressing that i think it it yeeted itself out of the comfort zone comfort movie zone for me but yeah, so so I would like to hear about it. You know, what kind of horror movie are you watching more than, than should be allowed? <laughs> so yeah, really enjoyed it. How did you enjoy it? Also, would you invite the monster over for a horror movie? Here's the thing. 
I think, because for, yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to say also. So I know this is wholesome horror. We, we went in knowing it would be wholesome horror. So I knew the ending would be nice, you know, and it wouldn't bite us in the, in the ass. But while the monster was like talking about, I feel so depressed and, you know, I don't want to quit and everything. I was like, you know what? I think I would fall hook, line and sinker for this. So any monster that would use this to, to rope, you rope me in. And then attack me while I'm, you know, cozying up on the couch. <sighs> that would be my end. And I wonder, would you do the same? I mean, also, in a real-life scenario, I'm not quite sure. Because there's def there's very different variables if you actually see a monster. First of all, I mean, if it talks like a person, I think you, you would be more likely to listen, right? And to kind of relate to it. Um... But does it stink, for example? Is it very fleshy, like the structure of it? I mean, in this game, it looked kind of dry, which is, I guess, good. But, you know, as soon as it stinks, this is probably more of an issue to kind of, you know, also invite it to sit next to you on a movie night. Um, and, yeah, in general. And it's... <laughs> I know it's kind of like, you know... I just smoked weed and now I'm thinking about this. Would I actually engage with a monster? And I'm, I don't mean romantically, you know, he filthy. Um, I mean, really, if if I would meet a monster, I would be like, you know, I'm not that bad and I'm actually not a big monster. Would I trust the monster? Would I talk to it? Would it take me longer? I mean, it broke into my flat. And honestly, if it would be a human that broke into my flat and then would be like, oh, I'm so sad. I, I think I'm going to quit. You know, I don't think I would invite that person to a movie night because it broke into my flat. You know, um, yeah. Would you invite the monster to movie night? What's your comfort movie? That's my two questions. Also, water and cocoa. Is that a normal adult thing to have at home and nothing else? I feel like it really is not at least some tea, leftover coffee from visit of your parents or whatever, you know, just juice, maybe soda. But that's a question for the hardcore viewers, you know, you know who you are. <laughs> Anyways, if you're new to this channel, you know, I play a lot of horror games. That's pretty much it. I really have, you know, I, I don't have a cool lore channel or whatever. I'm not doing amazing edited short videos of like 20 hour games. I just play short indie horror games. Currently, I'm I'm uh, in the middle of Still Wakes the Deep, which is amazing. Uh, so if you want to see me basically fall to my death a thousand times each episode, then you're cordially invited. And I promise you, um, if if I'm a monster and I'm sick of monstering around, you know. Um, I would actually probably not break into your house and then give my whole sad sack speech. I would just politely knock. And you know what would be hilarious? I would bring pizza. Because if then I'd be like, you know, I was... Because then I could be like, you know, normally I haunt people and I scare them, but I don't want to do it anymore. So I decided to try something new. And I brought pizza because that's something that I always thought would be amazing. You know, and I think that would be much nicer for you because then you wouldn't feel like, well, but that person or that creature invaded my house. So I don't want to really have them here. So subscribe. Anyways, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day. And maybe see you next time. Bye. This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.